Bless the Lord, oh my soul, oh my soul, worship His holy name. Greetings to our friends at Union Church of Manila. My name is Stanley Cruz. I teach missions at Asian Theological Seminary. I'll be sharing with you a short uh, devotional on Luke chapter 10, verses 1 to 12. You may want to pause the video a minute to find your place in the Bible or simply listen as I read. So I'll be reading Luke 10, verses 1 to 12. After this, the Lord appointed 72 others and sent them two by two ahead of him to every town and place where he was about to go. He told them, the harvest is plentiful, but the workers are few. Ask the Lord of the harvest, therefore, to send out workers into his harvest field. Go, I am sending you out like lambs among wolves. Do not take a purse or bag or sandals, and do not greet anyone on the road. 
When you enter a house, first say, Peace to this house. If a person of peace is there, your peace will rest on them. If not, it will return to you. Stay in that house, eating and drinking whatever they give you, for the worker deserves his wages. Do not move around from house to house. When you enter a town and are welcomed, eat what is set before you. Heal the sick who are there and tell them the kingdom of God is near you. But when you enter a town and are not welcomed, go into its streets and say, even the dust of your town that sticks to our feet, we wipe off against you. Yet be sure of this, the kingdom of God is near. I tell you, it will be more bearable on that day for Sodom than for that town. Suppose that you are uh, about to send out a team of evangelists to go out and bring the gospel. And you're looking for a Bible passage that will give them some guidance for their strategy. Do you think you would choose this Bible passage? Probably not. More likely you would choose Matthew 28 verses 18 to 20 or one of the other Great Commission Bible passages, or perhaps something from the book of Acts about how the Apostle Paul and his teammates went out proclaiming the gospel and planting churches. You know, I, I can hardly imagine actually following these instructions myself. Think it through a little bit. First of all, you don't bring any money with you, no extra clothes, no supplies. Then when you arrive, you, you say, peace to this house. And then you check whether the peace sticks to them or bounces back to you. Then you heal the sick. You announce that the kingdom of God is near. And finally, if they don't accept your message, you shake the dust off of your feet before you leave the town. I've been in mission work for 35 years and I've never done it like that. But I have a friend in Africa, a missionary friend, who actually practices mission something like that. He is in a part of Africa where very few people know much about Jesus, and sometimes he goes on treks to remote villages. He doesn't bring a car, he just walks into the village. He carries a toothbrush and a few basic necessities, uh, not much else, and just goes into the village, stays with the people, eats with them, and tells them stories about Jesus. It's an effective way of doing mission in that part of the world. Well, I want to challenge you to uh, consider that, to really think about this passage, to read uh, Luke chapter 10, verses 1 to 12, many times during this missions month. Uh, read it at least twice a week. Read it in different translations, different languages. Listen to audio versions of it. Read it together in your family or in another group of people. And then reflect on it and share what you hear Jesus telling you through this passage. You know, I was telling you about my missionary friend. He and I are actually part of a group of missionaries from many different countries. We meet together once every two months uh, by Zoom on, online. And uh, we first start out by reading this Bible passage every time. Sometimes I get a bit tired of it and I kind of want to say, Jesus, I don't think this is very practical for us. But it's surprising as we've reflected together how much we've been learning about Jesus' mission and about ourselves being Jesus' mission agents in this world today. And so I want to encourage you to reflect on it in that way. So for right now, notice four basic things that Jesus told these evangelists to do. First of all, he told them to extend peace. Now think about it, in our world today with the COVID-19 crisis and so many difficult things going on, people are anxious, people are disturbed, they need peace. We have the peace that the world cannot give, the peace that Jesus gives. We can offer that to people as we go. And so our approach needs to be more peaceful rather than forceful. Secondly, Jesus said, heal the sick. Now. Healing can be by many different means. Maybe we have in mind miraculous healing, and that can be. But Jesus simply said, heal the sick. It could be by means of therapies, arts of healing that we've learned. It could be physical healing. It could be inner healing. And so, you know, if we think about the history of missions, everywhere Christian missionaries have gone out, they have brought healing to people, sometimes through medicine, sometimes through miracles, sometimes healing of body, more often healing of soul. And so Jesus does want us to be his healing agents 
in this world today. Third, Jesus said, announce the kingdom of God, that the kingdom of God is near. Notice that he said this twice. First of all, it was in that context of healing that when people were healed, you are to tell them that the kingdom of God is near. But he also told them to tell that to people if they reject the message or reject the messengers, that they too need to hear that the kingdom of God is near. So it's good news for those who receive and accept it, but it's bad news for those who reject it and turn away from it. And so we do need to give both sides of that message that God is reigning, God is Lord over all. It's a message of healing and salvation for those who receive it. It's a warning of God's judgment toward those who reject it. And finally, notice that Jesus said, eat with the people, eat what's set before you, uh, spend time, stay with them. Now that's not too hard, is it? Well, it can be rather challenging if the people were going to have a much different diet than ours. But it's not too hard. And so, you know, it's one of the best ways to develop relationships with people, uh, tell stories about Jesus, share the gospel with them, simply eating with them and staying with them. And so I want to really encourage you to reflect on this passage this month and uh, try to see what is Jesus saying to you about being his mission agents in the world today. So remember, especially those four things, extend peace, bring healing in Jesus' name, announce that the kingdom of God is near, and spend time eating with people and staying with them. Let's pray. Lord Jesus, perhaps we find these words too difficult uh, or impractical for us today because they are so simple. We tend to make it complicated. We pray, Lord, that you will work through us as your mission agents, that we will be bringing peace and healing, that we'll announce the coming of your kingdom, that we'll take time to develop relationships with people through simple ways, like eating with them. And so, Lord, may others see the reality of your reign, your kingdom, in our words and actions, O oh Lord. This is our prayer, in Jesus' name, amen.